good times for a change you See the luck I've had Can make a good man turn bad So please, please, please Let me, let me, let me Let me get what I want this time Haven't had a dream in a long time And see the life I've had Can make a good man bad So, for once in my life Let me get what I want Lord knows it would be the first time Haven't had a dream in a long time but See the life I've had Can make a good man bad So, for once in my life Let me get what I want Lord knows it would be the first time Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Please, Please, Please by The Smiths. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So to start off with, we're playing this with a capo on the second fret. If you don't have a capo, you can do it in standard tune. It just means you can't play along with the original track, that's all, okay? And this kind of, you know, suits my voice. It's the original way of playing it, as seen on the Johnny Marr YouTube live version or whatever you can search that out for yourself i've made some slight adjustments because there's two guitars so you know this is just one acoustic and it starts off um he kind of does this and we're going to call that a d or we can call that a c major seven we're just going to imagine this is standard okay so that would be a c major seven okay and then he changes that into just a normal C, C major, and then the first finger gets removed, okay? And when I'm doing this, I'm just concentrating on those top three, four strings. So, C major seven, move the first finger onto the B string and remove the pinky. Nice and easy, and then I remove the first finger, okay? And then I go down to a normal C, and then a G. But I'm playing the G with the opposite fingers, just because it helps later on to do the little lick. And I've got my pinky on the B string in what we're going to call the third fret, okay? Third fret from the capo. So here we go. Then I'll show you the rhythm, okay? So. And then C. G. And then remove that pinky, okay? It's just like a G5. Now the rhythm, I'm doing, it's a slightly different time signature to what we normally, normally play. We normally play kind of, well, majority of the time we play 4-4, four, four. this is kind of in 6-8, in okay? So, 
one, two, three, one, two, three. It's kind of got this feel, or one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Down, up, 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 down, up. Slowly down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, and that's like into the first verse then. Good times for a change. See the life I've had. Then he goes to an E minor, okay? And then this like F major seven. Now an F major seven, it's just like a normal F. There's a normal F with the first finger barred on the top two strings. But what you're doing, you're playing it like a C. So the top E rings out, all right? But then I'm adding this C note as well. So I'm moving my third finger over a fret to the A string and I put my pinky underneath it. So it kind of looks like an E there, but then with that first finger on. Okay, so it's like a C over F major seven. Um, so E minor. And let's go from the beginning, it makes more sense. Good times for a change. See the life I've E minor. Can make a good man turn bad. And we're going to a G. But I'm doing that same G again with my pinky on the B string. Then I'm doing like a G add four. So I'm moving my removing my pinky. And put my first finger on that note, the first fret on the second string. Okay, and it's like an added fourth, so it's not a third anymore, it's a fourth, okay. All right, let's try that again, so. Good times for a change. See the life of E minor Can make an F major 7 Turn G And then 4 Open Right, so I'm going G Down, up, down, up, down Up, down, up, first finger Up, down, up, off Up, down, up Okay, now you don't actually have to add all these extra bits if you don't want, you can just hold on a normal G and that's gonna sound fine as well, okay? So then we're into the chorus. So, please, please, please. So I'm doing F major seven again with the extra finger. Please, please, I'm removing the second finger there. Please, please, G. Let me, which is a normal C, let me, and then I'm like dropping, so like a B over C, C, which is just the second finger in the second fret on the A string, C, drop, back to that F major 7 again. So this F major 7 is like the dominant chord of the song really. So please, please, please. Let me, let me, let me get what I want. That's G. This time. Sorry. So, after the G, he goes to like this A minor. Now, what Johnny Marr does. So he kind of does two fingers like that, as far as I can see anyway. So it's like an A minor, but with just the two fingers, okay? And I'm just playing the G and B. Down, up, down, up, down. And I'm finishing with that second 
finger on the second fret on the D string, okay? So, on, off, on, off, and then I'm sliding up, okay, so my first finger lands in the fifth fret, second finger lands in the sixth. Okay, slowly. But what I'm doing, I'm actually adding this extra note in as well, just because it sounded a bit thin when I was going to it, because there's no other guitars. So that's all I'm doing, I'm just... So when I'm strumming the first one, it's a normal A minor, okay? It might take a while to get that, but just do it slowly, or you can do the Johnny Marr way, the easy. Not that it's an easy way, but it's easier than... Depends how accurate you want to be, okay? So, let's just do that again. Please, 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 let me see, drop F. Yeah, where are G, A minor. Then it does this little. Okay, so it's just a little bridge, turn around, back to the first verse. So it's an F major 7, then I'm putting the pinky on off on the B string, on, on off, on off, hit the G, and then go to a G5. And that's just those bottom two strings, all right? So slowly. Now you notice I'm doing a pull off there. He doesn't do that, he just plays it. Okay, either or, it's entirely up to you. And then just go back to this C major seven bar. But the first note you're gonna hit is this top E string at the fifth fret. Okay, so if I do it slow, change position, back to the beginning. So that's exactly the same again, okay? Uh, let's play it through so it makes sense. I haven't had a dream in a long time. See the life of E minor, F major 7, G. I did four. So, for once in my life, G. C. Drop F major 7 again. Lord knows, G, A minor riff. Then it goes straight to an F major 7. Lord knows, G, it would be the first time. Then normal C. Then you add a C7, which just means you put the pinky on the G string. Then you got this outro. Now what I'm doing here, I'm trying to get a touch of that melody in. Da, da, da. So what the guitar solo kind of on the top, okay, it's playing a little melody. So what I'm doing there is an F major, and then change it into an F major 7. So that means I'm just not flattening my finger anymore. I'm letting that top E ring out. So F, F major 7, and the G that we've been doing. And then the C, the drop, Okay, which is the B over C, and then back to that F major 7. 
And the, the rhythm down, up, 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 down. That repeats F, F major 7, G, but then it goes to a C, or then C, C7, sorry. That just means you put your pinky on the G string. Then we've got two bars of E minor. Then I do a little run up. You know, it's just a little bass line run, I guess. Um, four, five to A minor. I'll do that again, okay? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, da, da. To A minor. I nearly forgot then. You can do the same from the A minor to the F major seven or the C over F major seven. And then resolves on the G. And then what I did in the beginning, I just played the last verse at the end. That doesn't happen in the original song, but when I see him live, he does an extra verse on the end. And all I'm doing at the end, I'm just doing a simple C and a G. And everything else is exactly the same. Okay, so there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. There's some links below to a Spotify playlist I've made, Instagram links, and also if you'd like to support me over on my website, I've set up a donation button as I don't get paid for these lessons guys, so anything you'd like to help me out with would be amazing and I super appreciate it. So enjoy guys and I'll see you again the same time next week. Thank <laughs> you.